Someone once told me that a friend comes into your life either for a reason, season, or a lifetime. My first meeting with Dr. Patricia Hilliard Nunn was in the early 90s at a cinematic showing of Sankofa, a movie about the transatlantic slave trade. I remember being so impressed by her passion, knowledge, and her command of the crowd. She had a gift of connecting with you, whether it was the first time meeting her or the umpteenth time. She knew how important it was to be in the moment, with you and for you. That night she shared the significance of the Sankofa bird and why we as a people must go back and fetch our history. The word Sankofa derives its meaning from the Ghanaian Akan language, which means go back, look for, and gain wisdom, power, and hope. Those words embody the spirit of Dr. Patricia Hilliard Nunn. Notwithstanding her busy life schedule, she never turned me down at a request to speak and or to teach, whether it was a banquet or a Black History Assembly at Hawthorne High School. If her calendar was clear, it was a firm and enthusiastic yes. She was someone you can count on. My admiration for her grew over the years. Her essence lived in her voice, which was endowed with deep knowledge. Her organic emotions were undeniable and the manner with which she harnessed her gift of storytelling was akin to a modern day griot. To teach is to touch a life forever. As I remember, she was always teaching, sharing history, and in many cases, history that most had never heard before. Whether she shared her knowledge with budding intellects at the University of Florida, or the children and families of the National Achievers at Santa Fe College, or with parishioners of a local assembly, or a UNESCO trip, or whether it was casual speaking one-on-one, -on -one, she was dynamic, authentic, and in the moment. In fact, my neighbor Troy recalls the many edifying conversations they shared together as she encouraged him to write his book. Her infectious laughter has left an indelible print on my mind, especially when we would joyously dance to the drumming of African beats on Wednesday afternoons at the Wilhelmina Johnson Center. That little room was jumping and we truly had fun. We had so much fun those evenings. I remember being late for Bible study on many a Wednesday night because it was so hard to pull away from those drums. And yeah, I was guilty running late to Bible study. I'm sure many of us will never forget watching her perform on various stages through the years with that big happy smile across her face as she danced and what an African dancer she was. I am so grateful to Patricia and her Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated Sisters that conducted a rite of passage program called the Sisters of Mayotte for middle school girls at the Porter's Community Center, teaching these young girls their history, building their self-esteem and self-respect, and inspiring them to be successful those lessons will serve as a ballast for many of those young girls well into their adult years. My eight child was blessed to be in this program with Patricia when she needed it most. Today, my daughter Camille is living off her dream as a history teacher of African-American studies in a community that is plagued with senseless violence. I would like to believe that Patricia influenced my daughter's life namely the discovery of your history and the endless possibilities. Once you've tapped into the power source, it's part of the reason my daughter is so optimistic about the future of her high schoolers who are fraught with so many uncertainties. That's Chicago. What amazed me most about Trisha, despite her myriad of well-earned titles, accolades, that she had deservedly received and the lauded position she attained 
is the fact that she never lost the common touch with common folks. She never reeked of an elitist attitude. She never looked down on anyone or stopped loving people. The who's who of Gainesville and the unknown were on equal footing in her eyes. Our Gainesville community has lost a giant. And through her legacy and the countless seeds which she has sown and planted over the years, I am confident her efforts would yield and bring forth much fruit for many years and generations to come. She enriched the lives of many in our community. Someone once told me that a friend comes into your life either for a reason, season, or a lifetime. Well, I was one of the lucky ones to know her for a better part of 20 plus years. Her smile, that voice, and her passion will be missed. I would like to express my heartfelt condolences and love to the family. I love this lady. May God be pleased to bless her work and honor her legacy for many years to come. So Sankofa or the going back to fetch it is very vital here today. Um, because if we don't know what happened before, then we won't know what's happening today. We won't understand it. We won't know whether it's better or worse than what we've already experienced. Um, who have loved, yeah. who have been kind, yeah. um, and who have given sometimes when people have not seen what they have done. And we are here really to say thank you because sometimes we wait until people are gone and we have these grand ongoings. Oh, what a wonderful person that was. And so we need to thank people now, yeah. our family, our friends, and certainly people who stand up for justice in our community.